Simple Science – What is the Solar System? At the centre of the solar system lies the Sun, a yellow dwarf star containing nearly 99.9% of the solar system's mass. All other objects in the solar system are bound to the Sun by gravity. Orbiting the Sun in an elliptical plane are the eight planets. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, and the smallest. It takes only 87 Earth days to orbit around the Sun. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is almost the same size as Earth, but much hotter, with surface temperatures reaching over 400 degrees Celsius. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and the only one known to have life. It is also unique in having liquid water and moving tectonic plates on its surface. It has one natural satellite, the Moon. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. It has huge inactive volcanoes and wide rift valleys, but just a small amount of carbon dioxide as an atmosphere. Jupiter is the biggest planet having over 300 times the mass of Earth. It is called a gas giant because it is mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. It has the biggest number of moons of any planet, 63. The biggest, Ganymede, is bigger than the planet Mercury. Saturn is the second biggest planet and another gas giant. As well as having 59 moons, it is encircled by rings made up of ice and dust particles. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun, and the coldest, with temperatures plunging below minus 200 degrees Celsius. Even though it is much smaller than Jupiter and Saturn, it is still 15 times heavier than Earth. Neptune is about the same size as Uranus and is the furthest planet from the Sun. It is so far out, it takes over 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun. Out beyond Neptune lie Pluto and further out still, Eris. These smaller spherical objects are classified as dwarf planets along with Ceres the largest of the asteroids that make up a belt of rocks between Mars and Jupiter. Finally, comets deserve a mention. They are icy objects just a few kilometers across. They have eccentric elliptical orbits that take them shooting far out beyond Pluto, then whizzing back again like a slingshot, closer to the Sun than the inner planets, leaving a trail of gas and dust.